Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and welcome to PackageMain, your one-stop shop for mastering Go and backend in general. But first, a small announcement to make. Me and my friend slash colleague Julian are starting a new newsletter on Substack, which is also called PackageMain, where we'll write a lot of hands-on content on Go, DevOps, Cloud and backend in general. So feel free to follow us there and subscribe. But today, in this video, let's talk about identifying container image vulnerabilities with Docker Scout. Let's get started. We all know that Docker technology is great and brings us many advantages, but also, unfortunately, Docker images include many attack surfaces on different layers. Every day there are new vulnerabilities discovered in open source projects, and maintainers are tasked with patching their software. We can see that there have been 29,000 new vulnerabilities discovered in 2023 alone. So, how can we mitigate this risk? One solution is vulnerability scaling and its integration into your development lifecycle. There are many free open source, but also paid tools for vulnerability scanning in Docker images. For example, Docker Scout, Aqua Security, Sneak, Tenable.io, and many more. They all have their advantages and differences, but still share the same goal to identify and patch vulnerabilities. Now, let's take a deep dive into Docker vulnerability scanning and see it in action. In this video, we'll craft a sample Docker file as a foundation for our exploration. Then we'll use Docker Scout to scan for vulnerabilities. We'll also explore some resolution options, and then we'll develop, define some simple CI CD workflow to continuously check for these vulnerabilities. And we'll use GitHub actions for that. Let's start with a very simple Go program. So just a basic hello world. That's it. Cool. Let's create a Docker file for this program. As our base image, we will use Golang 1.19, which I know is not the latest, but also not really old. And um, I believe that many people still use it in their projects. So let's define the work here. Let's copy say, all the files and run go build say go app main.go file and then run this application in order to start scanning our docker image we have to build it first which is docker build so it's called go app And just to make sure it works, let's run our Docker container. Go app. Go and say hello world, which means it's working. If you are using a recent version of Docker Desktop, Docker Scout command line tool might be already available. While I don't endorse any specific tool, Docker Scout can be quite handy for this demonstration. So let's just use that for now. First, some notes on Docker Scout. You need to have a Docker Hub account to run it. Also, a free version has, as always, some limitations. In this case, for scanning remote images. And not all registries are available. For example, Google Container Registry is not available just yet. So, to start using Docker Scout, here are the commands that you need to run. First, Docker Login which I'm already authenticated, and then docker scout enroll a new account name. Now let's see which docker scout commands are available to us. There is a CVEs command that we'll be focusing on today, just displays the list of uh, identified CVEs or vulnerabilities. Uh, there is a recommendations command that can give you some hints on how to fix these problems. There's a quick view, it summarizes the list of recommendations, the base image report and your build image, and there's a compare command to compare two images. 
So now we have our Go application image built. Let's run the cvis command on that. Docker Scout cvis. Which resulted in quite a lot, right? Two critical vulnerabilities, 9 high, 12 medium and 46 low. As I mentioned, Docker Scout can also give us some recommendation. So let's try this out. Docker Scout recommendations. In our case, it suggests bumping our base image to 122, which we're going to try right now. So instead of 119, let's do 122. And now let's rebuild our image and run docker scout command again. All right, the image is ready. Docker scout CV is much better, right? But still, one critical, two high, much less medium vulnerabilities and few low vulnerabilities. Let's see what the critical vulnerability is. So if you scroll it up. As you can see, this vulnerability comes from Git software. But do we actually need Go to run our Hello World Go program? To build, probably yes. To download modules and repositories. But since Go is compiled, we don't need Git to run the application. To resolve this issue, we could use the multi-stage build process to separate the build and run a stages. So let's mark it as builder. And then you use something very tiny like Alpine latest and copy the Go application from builder to our Alpine image. Let's rebuild our image and scan it again. and run docker scout cvis. Awesome, no vulnerabilities found, or at least we may think so and have a peace of mind. While manual scanning is valuable, integrating continuous security checks into your development lifecycle, into your CI CD workflow is much serious vulnerability management. This ensures automated scanning for every build and making sure that no malicious software reaches production. And Docker Scout has a GitHub action that allows you to run Docker Scout command line in your workflows. Let's review it. I prepared for you a simple GitHub action workflow that runs the Docker Scout. This is just an example and you can adjust it to your needs. But in our case, it runs on every single push to every single branch. And here are the steps that we run. So we check out our repository, we set up the docker build x, then we build docker image and it says push false, which means we don't push the image to any registries. Then we use the docker slash login action to log into docker hub, because as I mentioned previously, docker scout requires your docker hub authentication. Uh, for that, you'll need to put two variables into your secrets Docker Hub username and a token, which you can get on Docker Hub platform. And then we run the Docker Scout command. Now you can run multiple commands here. Uh, you can comma separate them. In our case, we run our CVEs uh, command. Uh, yeah, and it can also leave the comment on your pull request when needed. And let's commit something to our demo repository and see it in action. All right, now we can see that our action is running. Let's give it some time. All right, our action run was successful. And here's the comment from the Docker Scout command. As we've seen it locally, uh, no critical or high vulnerabilities found, but imagine if there would be any, it will be all shown here or on your pull request as well. And that's it for today. Remember that incorporating these practices into your software development lifecycle empowers developers to maintain more secure containerized ecosystem. Thanks for watching and it's good to be back.